We all started playing video games back when we were young. Maybe it was Nintendo, maybe it was even the Sega Genesis, or maybe you're a little bit younger and you started with a Nintendo 64. Back then it was so exciting to sit down in front of your game console and get your game on. You would look forward to getting home from school dropping in front of your television and playing video games as long as your parents would let you. But over time, this excitement fades. We become older, we get responsibility, we go away to college, we get ourselves a job, or maybe even we start our own family. At this point in time, gaming becomes less of a priority. We're less excited about it, but it's something that is a distant memory that many times we want to bring back and make another part of our life all over again. So today I wanna to share with you five different things that you can do to make gaming fun again. First things first, you have to think about where you are when you're gaming. If you're gaming in a place that's not fun, it's less of an exciting event for you, right? So for me, I come into my office, I'm all set up here to game, and I'm here in the cockpit, ready to get into the games and have some fun. Or maybe some days I wanna go lay down on the couch, lounge out and play some video games with my family and enjoy a more casual space. This is my serious station. Downstairs in the living room is more of the family gaming station. Either way, set the atmosphere. Make sure that you have some snacks out that you're gonna be enjoying, maybe if you're playing alone or if you're playing with family while you game. Get yourself in some comfortable clothes. Throw on a pair of sweatpants, your favorite hoodie, or maybe even your pajamas, and really get set. Set the mood for gaming. Throw some background music on that's gonna give you that vibe that makes you wanna play video games. And maybe even prepare yourself throughout the day. As you're planning out this atmosphere that you're creating, Plan out throughout the day what you're gonna do, what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna play, and it's gonna get you excited for that game session. It's different than how it used to be when you were a kid, but this is a different kind of an excitement, and it's still really great. Next thing is spice up the games that you love. Let's say you've been playing a game for years and it's kind of getting boring, maybe League of Legends, say, or maybe RuneScape. Make challenges inside of the game that are gonna maybe make it more exciting. It's gonna press you in a different direction. It's gonna be something that you can try and get done without trying to do the original objective that you've been doing possibly for years while playing this game. Switch things up, challenge yourself, and it's gonna be a different direction, a different way for you to play the game, and it's really a lot of fun, and it's gonna kinda spice up your enjoyment for that game. Now, maybe this game that you've been playing for a while or that's kind of stale with you is just on the back burner. You're not excited to play it and you wanna play something different. Well, explore new games. I particularly play a ton of mobile games and I also play games on Steam. There's a ton of games that you don't even have to pay for. Free to play games, a massive library of them on Steam itself. Let me, let me name a few right here. You have Warframe, you have Destiny 2, you have Halo. So many games that you could dive into and try absolutely for free. And when you're experiencing something, whether it be just a campaign or a multiplayer experience, it's something new, it's something fresh, and it takes you into kind of a new universe. A good video game is gonna lure you in, it's gonna suck you into that world, and it's something that you're either gonna not like and move on to the next game, or something that you may fall in love with and really wanna spend a lot more time diving into the game. Like, think back to when you were playing Halo 3 and you heard that music when you turned on the game. Man, every single time that would suck me in. It would make me want to just get in there and play some Halo with friends or alone with the BR taking people's heads off. Another great way to spice up your gaming experience is to play with friends. Now, I know this could sometimes be difficult, especially in the modern day. A lot of people just don't play video games anymore once they get older, grow up, or grow out of the games. But there's tons of places where you can meet people to play video games. You can join Discord and get into game chats and find people that are just kind of like-minded that say, hey, let's go play this game together. So if I'm interested in playing Destiny 2, I'll join Discord, join the Destiny 2 Discord server, and meet people that are playing the game. They probably have a new player section as well, so you could dive in there, get in there with new players, and team up together inside of the game, be on voice together, and while you're gaming, you're actually making new friends. And while you're making new friends, they're introducing you to more people and you're building a whole new community of people that you can look forward to game with. Everything that I do for my life right now is from my home. My job is virtual, YouTube is virtual, and all my gaming is virtual. The majority of my friends in my life 
are people that I've met online, many of which I've never actually met in person. And some of these people I consider to be some of my best friends, talking to them every single day for years, never having met them in person. I know it's strange, it's just how things are these days, especially with a more virtual lifestyle, but there's tons of people and relationships that you can build from gaming. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity, whether it's someone that you're looking to play with casually and then move on, or if you join a community of gamers that you become one with and really start playing with on a more regular basis. This is a great social element to the game. But also remember, if you're a campaign solo player as well, that's cool too. You don't have to play with other people to enjoy. Because sometimes I just want to sit back with a brand new good campaign, experience the game and the story for what the game was developed to be without having to worry about multiplayer, just worrying about the art, the design, and the beauty of the game itself. Now, remember to take breaks. We all get frustrated with games, breaking controllers, throwing the keyboard. Well, maybe we did that when we were kids. You shouldn't do that anymore. Those things are expensive. But when you get frustrated or when you've had enough of a game, put it down and take a break. Now, a break doesn't mean to go pee in the bathroom and then come back and play again. I'm talking about a break break. Put the game down, go outside, go do something else, touch some grass, and come back in a couple of days and attempt the game again. Games these days are more addicting than ever. There's something inside of them that makes you feel like you have to log in and play every single day. Kind of like it's your job. So make sure that when you're feeling this way, in a negative way, just really burnt out and angry at the game, step away and don't get sucked back into it. You're not quitting, you're just taking a break to reset your mind so that you can then go back and enjoy the game. And if you go back and play it again and it upsets you again, maybe it's time to move on to a new game. There are thousands of games, hundreds of new games coming out every month. So many things for you to choose from across all the different platforms, including mobile, that you don't need to be stuck with one game that really is making you angry. And the last one, this is a little strange, but hear me out. Social share your experiences inside of the game. Now, there's tons of ways that you can do this. Me, I've got three YouTube channels. On those YouTube channels, or on this YouTube channel, I give you some of the best mobile games and free to play games that you could play on Steam. That's something that I do to share my gameplay experience and the research that I do in games. On my Echo Gaming Diablo channel, I play Diablo games, action RPGs, and I share that experience with the community. On my Echo Call of Dragons channel, I share my gameplay and guides and tips for Echo Call of Dragons or for the game Call of Dragons. And now, yes, this is my business. This is my job, but you could do it on the same level. Maybe you'll want to hop into a Twitch stream and just stream your experience. Hook up your microphone. You don't even need your game camera and see who comes in and joins you to chat. Sometimes it's no one. Sometimes you'll get a trickle in of a few people and it's a really fun way to keep you kind of invested in the experience. But maybe you don't want to stream. Maybe you don't want to put out a video on YouTube. Maybe instead you just want to share your accomplishments from your past gaming session. So hop on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or any of your social network platforms of choice and share it with your community. Be like, look, what's up? I just took down this boss in 3.2 seconds. Bringing other people into your gameplay, whether that be playing with others or sharing your experiences with people across a social network is a great way to kind of brag and enjoy and share what you've been enjoying with people that you care about, whether they're important people like family on Facebook or people that you don't even know on Twitter, but you want them to see what's up. So now it's the point of the video where I ask you a question. And it's the point in the video where you answer the question in the comments section. The question is, are you here watching this video because you're someone that's lost your passion for gaming and you're trying to find your way back? Or are you someone that just clicked on this video and you thought it was a cool topic and you wanted to listen in and see what I had to say? Let me know who you are and how you fit into this video topic in the comments of this video. And while you're down there, subscribe to the channel because I put out videos every single day. Thanks for sticking around.